Niagara Falls. Canada's Wonderland. Cup and Saucer. Manitoulin Island. Rotary Trail Park. Toronto Zoo. Task Tulip Festival. CN Tower. Ripley's Aquarium. Toronto Subway. And many more. Walk and explore Ontario, Canada with Canada's Hive. Casa Loma Spanish for Hill House is a Gothic Revival castle-style mansion and garden in Midtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada, that is now a historic house museum and landmark. It was constructed from 1911 to 1914 as a residence for financier Sir Henry Pellet. The architect was E.J. Lennox, who designed several other city landmarks. Casa Loma sits at an elevation of 140 meters 460 feet above sea level, 66 meters 217 feet above Lake Ontario. Due to its unique architectural character in Toronto, Casa Loma has been a popular filming location for movies and television. It is also a popular venue for wedding ceremonies, and Casa Loma can be rented in the evenings after the museum closes to the public. In 1903, financier Henry Pellet purchased 25 lots from developers Kirtland and Rolf. Pellet commissioned architect E. Joe Lennox to design Casa Loma. With construction beginning in 1911, starting with the massive stables, potting shed and hunting lodge, K, a coach house a few hundred feet north of the main building, the hunting lodge is a two-story 4,380 square foot 407 square meters house with servants' quarters. In 1903, financier Henry Pellet purchased 25 lots from developers Kirtland and Rolf. Pellet commissioned architect E. Joe Lennox to design Casa Loma. With construction beginning in 1911, starting with the massive stables, potting shed and hunting lodge, K, a coach house a few hundred feet north of the main building, the hunting lodge is a two-story 4,380 square foot 407 square meters house with servants' quarters. As soon as the stable complex was completed, Pellet sold his summer house in Scarborough burned down in the 1920s for but the Lennox design groundskeeper's home at 12 Corselet Road remains five to his son and moved to the hunting lodge. The stables were used as a construction site for the mansion and also served as the quarters for the male servants. With some of the machinery still remaining in the rooms under the stables, the house cost about $3.5 million and took 299 workers three years to build. Due to the start of World War I, construction was halted. At 98 rooms covering 200,000 square feet, it was the largest private residence in Canada. Six notable amenities included an elevator, an oven large enough to cook an ox, two vertical passages for pipe organs, a central vacuum, two secret passages in Pellet's ground floor office, a pool, and three bowling lanes in the basement the last two were never completed. Wow, this is a library?
Nona eat now. Oh, look at the bubble dome thing. Life here is pretty popular. They go in there, the mosquitoes and stuff don't bother you. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but at night they won't be. It's quite cool, though. Yeah, that's what it's about. Oh, I like that plant. Oh, wow. Major General Sir Henry Mill Pallet. CVO January 6, 1859, March 8, 1939 was a Canadian financier and soldier. One he is notable for his role in bringing hydroelectricity to Toronto for the first time. And also for his large chateau in Toronto, called Casa Loma, which was the biggest private residence ever constructed in Canada. Casa Loma would eventually become a well-known landmark of the city. His summer home and farm in King City later became oh Mary Lake <laughs> Augustinian Monastery. Pallet was also a noted supporter of the Boy Scouts of Canada. His first wife, Mary, was the first Chief Commissioner of the Girl Guides of Canada. There was 200 phones in Toronto, all of Toronto, and 50 of them were in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> very, very funny. And then where? We'll go around and we'll go through. I'm sure there's probably another one on the other side. They sold all this for ninety-five dollars. Really? Each, but then they bought it back in ninety-one. Ninety-five dollars each.
Hey, you don't want to do this Casa Loma is a popular location for use in film and television. It has served as a location for movies such as X-Men, Strange Brew, Chicago, The Tuxedo, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, Warehouse 13, Crimson Peak, Twitches, Twitches 2, The Pacifier, and Titans where it stands in for Wayne Manor. Thank you. 